I learned about seeing things so shortly after I arrived here in 2006, and so was introduced to the threefold model and to all the other components that go along with it, and uh, got to meet some amazing folks from across the country who uh, were champions for the way that uh, seeing things whole had helped to shape their understanding of organizational life. Right from the beginning, it became a framework for us to think about our plans going forward. Um, and then, over the last seven or eight years, it has become the framework for our strategic planning uh, here at the university. The model really calls the three components into dialogue with each other, um, and it actually allows you also to get at some of the more intractable kind of challenges that you have. So, for an enrollment-driven university, for example, one of our challenges is really how do we continue to grow enrollment when a demographic cliff is out there looming in front of us. And so this model allows us to both hold on to who we are in the world as identity, think through how we can do what we do differently, uh, and then to think about how we support all of it. And so I would just say that it's, um, it's allowed us to deal with the tensions that are at the heart of an organizational life and have the, the, the language to engage those questions. We participated in a couple of the roundtables uh, related to some of Logsburg's challenges. I mean, we put, we're very vulnerable. We put issues out there on the table, believing and, and understanding that we don't know everything. Um, the power of the Seeing Things Whole framework is that it comes out of a theological position that says, actually, no human being is ever going to see everything whole. It really allows us to um, uh, you know, take a realistic picture of what's going on in, the, in our lives and to really understand both the obstacles, the opportunities, and to think about how we can navigate through that. I think one of the things I would say to other leaders is, is that, um, you know, there are lots of models out there for planning, but this is so uh, straightforward. In some ways, uh, even though there's great complexity below the surface in how you use the model, um, as you try to communicate with your organization, your university, whatever it might be, to be able to have this very straightforward, simple way to to show them what the component parts are of the model really is something that I think um, is a real gift to a leader. So I think for other leaders out there, as our lives get more and more complex, is really a model that allows us to um, navigate through that and to, um, as we say here at Augsburg, we celebrated our 150th anniversary. I'd like to think that the place is going to be around for another 150 years and to do that we got to make sure we get this right.